Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll draw the developed surface of the pentagonal base pyramid. So you can see this is pentagonal base pyramid, right? So here five number of sides are there. One, one, two, three, four, and five. These are the slant edges, right? So to develop the lateral surface, basically we will need the slant height of the pyramid, right? The this uh, statement of this problem is available in the description box. This is the base edge 30, height 70, slant height we have to find out in the drawing. So let's draw the top view and front view of the object. You can first see here, we'll draw the top view in this orientation with one of the base edge is perpendicular to VP. We'll draw it in this orientation, you can see, with one of the base edge, one of the base edge is perpendicular to VP. You can also draw it like this, one of the base edge is parallel to VP, but in that case you will not get the true slant height. So let's draw this now. We'll draw this in this or uh, in the different orientation. We'll take this 30 mm first vertical line. Now one of the base edge, five base edges will be there. One of the base edge is now perpendicular to VP. Why it is perpendicular to VP? So that one of the slant edge becomes parallel to VP to get the true slant height. So now this is 90 degree angle, 100, 110. We need the angle of 108. The internal angle between two edges of pentagon is 108. Now align your protector here. Ninety, hundred. this is 108 degree. Now 30 mm this side and 30 mm this side. Now take an arc of 30 mm from both the sides. 30 this side and 30 mm this side. Now this is the regular pentagon. All the sides and all the angles are equal. This is a regular pentagon. So till this step, this is the top view of the pentagonal base prism. We have to find out its centroid and we have to draw the slant edges in the top view. Let's take the midpoint of this line, 15. You can draw one thin line. Take the midpoint of one more line, let's say this one. This is 15. And draw one perpendicular. Now this one is the centroid of the pyramid. So now you can join the centroid with all the vertices.
now this is the top view of pyramid let's do the labeling these are the now five vertices and this is apex let's take the project uh, reference line now first we'll take the projection for this axis of the pyramid take the projection from the centroid as per the statement the statement is available in the description box this is the centroidal axis now take the projection from all the vertices 1 2 this is 3 5 and this is 4 now you have to join all the vertices to the apex now very important question in this drawing which one is the slant height in this front view which one is the slant height option a option b option c option d to here option a is incorrect because this is the projection of 1 to o1 and o2 it is not parallel to vp so its projection will be less so if projection is less this hypotenuse will be less means slant height is apparent slant height here it's not true now option b this is not a slant height this is the vertical axis of the pyramid centroidal axis now o3 and o5 here same problem o3 and o5 is not parallel to vp no doubt this is slant height but this is not parallel to vp its projection is less that's why hypotenuse is less means slant height is less apparent slant height now o4 o4 is the only slant edge which is parallel to vp this surface parallel to vp so its projection will be true slant height so o4 is the only true slant height here this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 5 dash 4 dash right so let's copy the slant height in radial line method the only challenge is to get the slant height once you will get the slant height the drawing is over take the gap of 15 mm here this is not a standard gap you can take 10 mm also now we have copied this slant height so now here the unfolded surface of this pyramid will be five number of triangles so here we will take an arc from here take an arc of equal to slant height now we will take the second arc of equal to base edge 30 mm take 30 mm from here now here we'll get this first triangle slant height slant height and base edge 30 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49
now draw the base edges here this is first triangle similarly second this is third triangle this is fourth triangle and this one is fifth so these are the five triangles of the developed surface of pentagonal base pyramid so now as per the statement the uh, it is also getting truncated by a cutting plane and the cutting plane is passing through the distance of 30 mm from the apex this is apex 1 2 these are the vertices 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 so cutting plane is passing through the distance of 30 mm from the apex at the angle of 45 degree so I'll add the cutting plane only how to distribute the points how to distribute the truncated height in the developed surface you can refer to the triangle base pyramid the very first tutorial from here we'll add the angle of forty five degree this is zero ten twenty thirty forty and forty five align both the points now this is the cutting plane which is passing through the distance of thirty mm from the apex at the angle of forty five degree so now this is the slant uh, height remaining slant height 1 2 this is 3 5 and this is 4 this is 1 and 2 this one is 3 5 and last one is 4 so for remaining part that how to distribute the points how to distribute the points please refer to triangle base pyramid video that how to distribute the point that is very simple step you can refer to that in case of still you have any doubt or any question please post your comments and subscribe to the channel please thank you so much